Okay, time to do a little product testing. We've got the Paradigm Triple Black Diamond, new driver from Callaway, just got it in the mail. And we're gonna put it against last year's uh, Rogue ST, both of them Triple Black Diamond. Um, this one's a nine degree, so we're gonna play around with the loft to try to get as close to this one as you can. Um, we're gonna do the exact same shaft, so I'm just gonna take the shaft out, put it in this head. We've got the uh, Diamante Kali 70X, um, 10 degree loft in both of these. So um, we're gonna try to get as close as we can to contact location and swing speed. So I'm gonna spray the face and we're gonna do a little bit of testing. solid we'll say that was just slightly above center but that's perfectly okay i like that um we got 150s uh 112 club head speed 165 ball speed um so i'm gonna put the other head in the shaft try to get a similar shot and contact location and then i'll pull up the numbers and we'll compare them okay so now i've got the rogue st triple black diamond uh, nine degree head had to bump it up one just to get the same loft on it uh, exact same shaft, just took it out of the other driver, put it in this one. Sprayed the face, it's ready to go. We're going to try to get similar contact location um, and club head speed. So almost identical contact location, extremely close. Um, same shot shape too, kind of fell a little to the left. Um, got 111 club head speed, so pretty close. Uh, 162 ball speed. So I'll pull those numbers up and we'll uh, compare them. Okay, so we can see you've got shot with the Paradigm and then the Rogue. Um, we're gonna see very similar launch angles. Um, the spin rates are gonna be slightly different. Um, the Rogue was hit more towards the center where the paradigm was hit just uh, probably an eighth of an inch north of the center of the club face which will decrease the backspin but that's um, quite a big difference there so club head speeds we'll see that very very similar club head speeds only 0.4 different um, and but ball speed we saw a three mile an hour jump now that might not look like a ton there but when we start looking at carry yards, again, both very similar shot shapes, very similar contact locations. So we're seeing a six yard jump in carry yards and then a significant jump in the total yards due to the amount of backspin or lack thereof on that ball. So we're actually able to increase a little bit of distance on that on the carry and the roll. Um, and then we move into efficiency. So that's smash factor. If anybody's familiar with uh, Foresight GC Quad, 1.48 is extremely high smash factor. Typically the highest they will read is 1.47. So 1.48 on a quad is very high. So we can see it's much more of an efficient driver, meaning if I generate 111 swing speed hit in the middle of the face, I can generate more ball speed off of that swing speed on top of um, still similar launch angles, a little less spin, which will give me a little bit more carry as well as some roll. So all in all, uh, very impressed. Okay, so after testing them, I'm very impressed with the Paradigm Triple Black Diamond. Um, we are seeing a little bit higher ball speed with the same club head speed, so that's gonna yield a little bit higher smash factor or efficiency. Um, it might not seem like that much, but when we're comparing um, the driver to last year's model, which was already kind of pushing the barrier there on ball speed, it's always hard to find a little bit more, but we're able to generate just a little bit more ball speed because we were comparing it against um, a really good driver to begin with. Uh, one thing I like about this one is with this triple black diamond version, we have a little bit more customization ability with it. So we'll see, um, we have the weight port towards the face, closest to the face. If we move that weight towards that face, it's going to uh, move that CG a little bit closer to it, and it's going to bring down uh, that spin rate. 
And we also have a weight port in the back. So we can move that weight around uh, from the front to the back. We pull that weight to the back of the head. We're gonna move that center gravity back. That'll raise that launch angle and just create a little bit higher ball, uh, ball flight with a touch more spin. And then it also comes with an additional weight. So we end up with a 14, a two, and an eight gram weight. Um, so this gives us, you know, multiple um, different ways to put these weights in the head to be able to customize that driver to meet whatever ball flight we want. Um, so early on, haven't got to use it on the golf course yet, but so far, very impressed.